Hi, I'm Dr. Rod Shaw of Math Plus Academy, and this math treat is pancake flipping. Today happens to be February 16th, which I just found out is National Pancake Day. So we'll do this in honor of that. I've seen this problem several times. I know Numberphile has done a really nice video on this, so I'll put a link to that in the, in the notes below. In any case, what is this pancake flipping problem? Well, imagine that you make some pancakes, and because you're new at making pancakes, they all come out different sizes. And you want to serve these pancakes to someone else in the most beautiful fashion, which would be to put the largest pancake on the bottom and then slowly work your way up to your smallest pancake, so kind of in a pyramid shape. So the only tool you have to kind of rearrange your pancakes into the right pattern is your little pancake flipper. So you can take a subset of the stack and flip them over, or maybe the whole stack and flip it over. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let's imagine you have three pancakes, all different sizes. I will represent those from the side as like this. Maybe you made the small one first, and then you made the biggest one, and then you made a kind of medium-sized one. So it's like this. And what you'd like to do is serve them in a nice bag on the bottom, then medium, then small. That's your ideal. That's your goal. This is your goal, and that's your starting point. And the only thing you can do is stick your spatula in somewhere between the first two or the second and third or maybe at the bottom and flip the whole stack. And you can do this over and over to try to get to that. So maybe I start by maybe putting it at the bottom and flipping the whole stack. That would get the small one to the top. So maybe that's good. So if I did that, then I would end up with, let's see, small on the top. Uh, big in the middle and medium on the bottom. So that's my second, that's after one flip. And I try that, I can try this a couple times and try and get to that. So a question that could come up is, is it even possible to do this? First of all, is it possible? Two, if it is possible, how many flips does it take? What else could we ask? Well, for three pancakes, there's a lot of different places you could start. You could have Maybe you made the small one first, and then a medium one, and then a big one. You know, would that be an easier problem to solve than this one that goes small, big, medium? So think about all the different ways you could configure three different size pancakes, and then for each of those, how many way, how many, would it be possible, and how many flips would it take? Is there like a minimum number of flips or a maximum number of flips or something like that that you could characterize your stack with? And for any set like all sets of three pancakes, what's the, worst, what's the worst number that you could get? Lots of open questions here. I will tell you that not all of these questions have been answered by mathematicians yet. And in fact, back in the 70s, Bill Gates, who is the founder of Microsoft and now one of the richest people in the world, um, tackled this problem and actually wrote a paper about it. So this kind of has a neat history to this problem. So let me, let me play around with this one a little bit more, just so you can see in a little bit more detail how this works. So I am here, you know, I really want this, this one to be on the bottom. So maybe I'll flip these two. Oh, I can't, because I'd have to put the spatula at the bottom. Yee. Okay. Uh, I don't even know what to do. Maybe I'll flip again right here between these two. So if I do that, where will I end up? I'll have the medium one on the bottom, the small one, and then the big one. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I'm getting anywhere. Maybe I should have done something different at the beginning. You can't, like, you can't flip these two. That would be nice if I could flip these two. Then I would have it in upside down order and I could flip the whole thing. But you can't flip the bottom pancakes. You can only flip the ones at the top. So. I'd have to flip the whole thing again. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll flip the whole thing. So I flip the whole thing. So I'll stick my spatula in at the bottom and flip the whole thing. That'll get the big one to the bottom. That's nice. And then the medium one, the small one will stay in the middle, and the medium one will go to the top. Aha, and I have, I see it now. If I stick my spatula in here between the small one and the big one, and I flip these two, I will get to there. So I was able to do it in four flips. Can you do better? Is there an optimal way? to do this. Can you do it in fewer flips? So that is the pancake problem, pancake flipping problem. Hopefully you understand how it works. 
start with a stack of some pancakes, maybe three. There's a bunch of different ways you could rearrange your starting configuration and figure out some ways to flip it into the goal and then look for some patterns, look for some structure and see what you can figure out. And as always, you know, just have fun playing with the math. There's not necessarily right or wrong answers here. There's just ideas and things that you can discover along the way.